Hey everyone, my name is Victor Dwyer, and today we're going to review Momentum Commerce's tool to understand ad density and how it's changed over time. Let's dive right in. Okay, perfect. So we are in the master Google Sheet right now, and today we are going to review this tool right here. So we're going to be able to analyze the percentage of the organic versus sponsored, and we're going to dive into that. So the, or the difference between organic and sponsored is pretty simple if you don't already know it. So if, if you know this is sponsored, as you see right here, sponsored means they have to pay for that placement on Amazon. So as you can see, sponsored is up top, organic's below. Organic means natural, basically sponsored means they paid for it at the end of the day. So that's how that works. And then from here, um, we're going to be able to see momentum commerce okay this tool they've provided is very very cool as you can see this top right this shows ad density okay so this is very very import important so we'll be able to dive in for example we'll be able to dive in crafting in this case and we'll be able to see how the ad density has changed so for example we'll be able to see the top potential people in the crafting space the top brands that are in this <clears throat> and we'll be able to see how this has changed over time so if I were to go back let's say a really if I just keep clicking back like crazy so as you can see almost five about eight months ago nine months ago from this point um, the ad density stayed about the same and so we're still about that 40% mark which isn't that crazy um, but if we go to the same time last year we're almost it's almost higher which is very fascinating so um, that shows you that the ad density in this particular space has actually gone down um, I think it's changing because I clicked a little bit too fast but um, for the most part it looks like it is staying pretty consistent so let's go to one of the mo more competitor cate competitive categories let's go to the supplement space um, grocery let's do grocery and food Let's do let's do beauty. Let's do beauty. Hair care. Let's try this. Let's see the overall in hair care. So we're looking about um, 48%. And just so you know, what you can do with this information is you could see how competitive, how much it is pay to play to be on Amazon. So three years ago, this was not an issue. Three years ago. We were, we were looking about 20 to 30 percent ad density okay meaning that you only had to pay for 20 percent of the placements on Amazon the rest were organic they were natural now you have to pay for almost 50 percent up to be on Amazon's first page why is that important because now it's becoming more pay to play in order to be on Amazon that is why that is important so you have to realize Amazon advertising is extremely important and if you want to be on first page, 50% of the placements are paid. That's important to know. And you can do this based off your, your particular category. That's why this is um, significant and this is why this matters. And you can see how much has changed over time. So a year ago, this was at 48%. So let's see what it is um, pretty close to around now. Let's just see how this, this number changes over time. But like it's important to know this information so that way you can see how much is the rising how much is, are you gonna have to pay to be in that organic placement over time because that's gonna important be important for you to know and the way this number is swayed is based off the amount of advertisers pushing money um, your competitors pushing money into it so if you ha are competing with a thousand different competitors and competing with a million dollars being pushed then Amazon's algorithm is going to say, hey, I need to put more placements in there. And what do I mean by placements? You see how right here there are three sponsored placements right here. Okay? That's, that's all there are. So let's say um, we had 100 new competitors that pushed millions of dollars into this. Amazon is going to go, oh my gosh, there's so much competition. Instead of this being an um, organic placement, I'm going to put a sponsored placement instead. And they will continue to push or sponsored placements 
Um, this is also a sponsored placement, and they're going to keep pushing it as much as possible based off how many competitors. So that is why this number is constantly changing over time, and you can easily see that within this tool, and you can see how much this changes over time. So you'll usually see this number rise during the Q4, once Q4 starts starting. So we were basically looking at um, this last year, so it looks like a lot more dollars are actually being pushed in this, in this hair care ga category right now than last year. Um, this is kind of what this is showing us, um, which is good if you were wanting to start in this particular category. It is actually going down in the ad density, meaning that there are less competitors in that space, meaning that you can push pretty, pretty well, um, and you'd be able to really um, challenge these top ones that are spending a lot of money. And you will be able to see, like, okay, their total search uh, ser um, share of voice in the top 10 positions, um, the, like, which one is in the top paid is search of voice. And this means just the people in the top 10 positions. So if you see this brand, this same brand, this, um, let's say this, uh, what's something that's not hard to pronounce? Let's say Pacific Pup Products, okay? They would be in a pretty high, so they have two two products in the top 10, that means they would be 20% of their products are in the top 10 of um, for dog toys and for this keyword. So that means they have a pretty high share of voice um, is what that would mean. Um, that was one example. They, this scrapes it across all keywords and everything else, but that was just one particular example to make it simple. And from there, you can get like the total organic so, um, share of voice and um, also the sponsored product share of voice um, and also the sponsored brand video share of voice and the difference between sponsored product is this is sponsored product as you can see it looks kind of like an organic product placement and this is a sponsored brand placement um, sponsored brand video and this is also a sponsored brand placement right here at the very top so um, that is what you can be able to track um, on a per per brand basis for each particular category so you can understand what the keyword demand is on this side um, and be able to understand what is the potential demand for these particular products, um, what is the ad density, and you'll be able to really see what and dive into what competitors are doing the best that you can potentially target in your um, advertising. So this is how I utilize this tool. This is more of, hey, I'm about to start Amazon advertising. What, what does it look like for me? That's what this tool is for. So... Um, this is how I would utilize it. This is how I would approach it and really do a sophisticated way, uh, a sophisticated way of researching this. And this is how I would dive in first before going into advertising. So hopefully that makes sense. And let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks.